But if you take a look at our final answers for all three of them, our first terms are the same, and your last terms are the same. But did we start with the same set of binomials each time? No. no. So if we take a look at like this first one, we had a positive 6 and a negative 1, so I got a positive in the middle. But when I flip those, what's happened to my sign in the middle here? It also flipped. So that little slight difference there can change your entire answer. Whereas over here, I changed the numbers all together, and I used 3 and 2 to get me the 6 as opposed to the 6 and the 1. So then I ended up getting a 1 in the middle instead of the 4 that I had before. So you have to be careful when we're factoring today because those little subtle differences make a big deal. You have to make sure you check. So if you remember like what we talked about last time is we multiply for the two outsides. Our middle is always our check when we're factoring to make sure that we did it correctly. So in our example down here, what we're doing is we are trying to factor this trinomial here, our 2x squared minus x minus 6. The difference between this one and what we did last time is now we have a number other than 1 in front of our x squared. Last time all we had were 1x squared, so it was easy to factor. You just did x and x. Now you're going to have another number up there. So when I multiplied this one out up here, we had a positive 4x as our middle term. We already multiplied that one out. So I didn't want to have a positive 4x. I wanted to have a negative 1x. So I switched my signs, and it gave us a middle term of negative 4x. So then I kind of had the hint that, yeah, that's probably not what I want to do. I probably don't want to use a 6 and 1. So I switched it to negative 3 and positive 2, and I got a positive 1x in the middle. But I didn't want a positive 1x. Again, what did we want? We wanted it to be negative. So what should I do to this to get a negative 1x in the middle? Flip our signs. So instead of 2x minus 3, we'll make it 2x plus 3. And then x minus 2. And now let's do our checks to make sure that's right. Little smile would give us a what when I multiply? Big smile would give us what? Negative 4x, 2 times negative 2 would give me a negative 4. So then 3 minus 4x gives us our negative 1, which is what we wanted. So this was the correct way to factor it. It unfortunately, though, took us a few different attempts to get there, and that's going to happen. It's basically a trial and error with this. So our steps for factoring are exactly the same. You want to see if you have a GCF first, and then you're going to set up like our trinomial, figure out your signs, figure out your factors, and then do your check. So let's look at problem number one. We have a 2x squared, a 5x, and a 2. Do we have a GCF there? 1. But whenever it's a GCF of 1, we don't actually do anything with it. So this means this is just going to be a trinomial factor. So I set up my two sets of parentheses. Again, we look at our second sign. That's positive. So will our signs be the same or different? Good. I look to the one before it. That tells me they're both going to be positive. So I've got plus and plus. So now, again, we have a 2x squared out in front. The only way to get a 2x squared would be 2x times 1x. The only way to get a 2 is 2 times 1, and then your x squared is your x times your x. So then again, my last term is a 2. How do we multiply to get a 2? 2 times 1. So we put them in there, and now we absolutely have to check to make sure we did it right. So my little smile would be a 2x. Big smile would be a 2x, because it's 2x times 1. We multiply the smiles. So 2x plus 2x gives us, do I want 4x though? No, I wanted a 5x. It's not a prime. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my 2 and my 1. And I'll put the 1 here and the 2 there. So I'll flip them. So for a little smile, 1 times x gives me 1x. 
big smile 2x times 2, 1x plus 4x. There it is. All we had to do was switch our numbers. So there's our answer for that one. Sometimes, yeah. As you practice it more often, you'll be able to eliminate factors right off the bat going, yeah, I know it's not going to be that one. I know it's not going to be that one. We'll have some examples on the back where we'll be able to see that. So for number two, we set up our two sets of parentheses. We have a trinomial factor. Will our signs be the same or different? Different. different. So I'm just going to put a positive and a negative. So for our 5x squared, how do we multiply to get 5? Yep, 5 times 1 for our 5, and then x times x, so 5x and 1x. So then what we have to do is come up with our factors of 15. 3 and 5, but there's another one. 1 and 15. So we're trying to get a 22 in the middle. It's kind of hard to predict, so let's just pick one and try it. 1 and 15. So my little smile here would give me a 1x. 5 times negative 15, what does that give us? I think it's negative 75. Can we tell right away that's not going to work? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what if we flipped it and we tried the 15 here and the 1 there? Little smile would give us a 15x. Big smile would give us a negative 5x. Combine those, we would get a 10x. So I don't think it's going to happen with 1 and 15. So let's try our 3 and our 5. So we'll try our 3 and our 5 there. So 3 times x gives us a 3x. 5 times negative 5 would give us a negative 25x. Combine those together and what do we get? Much closer. The only thing that's wrong is our sign. So how do I fix that? I just got to make this one negative and that one positive. So now negative 3 times x gives me a negative 3x. 5 times positive 5 would be positive 25. So we would get our positive 22x in the middle. Wait, slow down. So we'll set up for our next one, two sets of parentheses. What will our signs be? Different. Different. Shh, guys, too many side conversations right now. You need to stop, please. 3x squared. How do we get 3x squared? 3x and 1x. This one's a little easier. How do we multiply to get a 5? 5 and 1. We don't really have many choices there. All right, let's try it. So my little smile would give us a negative 5x. Big smile gives me a positive 3x. So negative 5 plus 3 would give us a negative 2. So we are close. We want it to be positive 2. So what do I have to change? We have to change our sign. So this one's going to be positive. And we'll make that one negative. So now just to check, positive 5 times x gives me a positive 5x. <laughs> 3 times negative 1 gives me a negative 3x. So 5x minus 3x gives me a 2x. Alright. Next 
for one sign, same or different? Same. Both will be negative. Only one way to get an 11x squared. Yep, 11x and 1x. So we have lots of options for 12. What are our factors of 12? All right, so we need to get a 37 in the middle. And we have an 11 that we're going to be multiplying something times. So do you think we're going to want to use like the 1 and the 12 for this one? I'm thinking 2 and 6. I got, some, I got one who's choosing 2 and 6. I got one who's choosing 3 and 4. I'm going to go with 3 and 4 because you guys are saying 3 and 4. Okay, we'll try 3 and 4. All right, so we'll put them in there, and then we'll do our check. So negative 3 times x gives us negative 3x. 11x times negative 4 gives me a negative 44x. Okay. So instead of erasing, I'll just rewrite it this time. So I switched my 4 and my 3. I put my 4 with the 11 now, and I put my 3 with just the x. And then we can check. So that would give me a negative 4x for my little smile. Big smile would give us what? Negative 33x. Combine those, we get negative 37x, which is our middle term. So this one is our answer. That one's not right. Number five, we'll set up our parentheses. Signs are going to be the same or different? Different. Now this one's tricky because 4x squared, we've got two choices. you got 4x and 1x or 2x and 2x. All right. I got a few people telling me 2x and 2x. It does. There is only one right answer. So if it doesn't work out, then you want to try the 4x and the 1x. Okay, so now we got 15. So what are our factors of 15 again? 5 and 3, 1 and 15. Again, just kind of thinking ahead. If I do 15 times a 2, what are we going to get? 30. I want to get a 4 in the middle. Am I going to want 30? No. So we're probably going to want to go with the 5 and the 3. So let's see here. So I just put them anywhere. And let's check. Negative 3 times 2x gives me a negative 6x. 2 times 5. So negative 6 plus 10 gives us positive 4. All right, we got that one on the first try. <laughs> yes, Josh? That's okay. As long as it's 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 3. It doesn't matter what order those two are in. Yeah. yeah well, then it would matter. All right, our last one in our notes. Signs, are they going to be same or different? different? Different. So I put a minus and a plus in there. Again, with 6x squared, we have two choices. We have 6x times 1x. Or 3x times 2x. Well, that would be 9x squared. You guys want to try the 2 and the 3? No. Well, one, yeah. and six. 1 and 6, okay. So we'll try 6x and 1x. Factors of 20. We got 4 and 5. 1 and 20. 2 and 10. Already got it. All right, so let's see here. We're trying to get a 7 in the middle. So let's see here. Would we really want to try the 1 and the 20? No. No. I'm thinking 4 and 5. 4 and 5? All right, we'll try 4 and 5. All 
So my little smile would give me a negative 4x. Big smile would give me a 30x. I'm not even going to take my time combining those because I already know it's going to be too big. 30 is too big. So if I flipped it, though, I would have a 5x and a 24x. Would that really work? No. No. So I think you guys may have been right the first time. We probably should go with 3x and 2x. So again, we're trying to get a 7 in the middle, so we don't really want our numbers to be too far apart. So I will probably still try the 4 and the 5 first. So we'll try our 4 and our 5. So if we multiply our little smile, what do we get? Negative 8x. Big smile? Negative 8 plus 15? 7x. 7x. There we go. Woo!